Hey guys, it's Melissa with Perfectly Posh, Team Polka Dotted Posh. I am getting ready for a vendor show, hence a lot of the packing stuff that you can see here. Um, and I'm doing some product research, so I am having a really long day. It's getting late at night. I have a baby that doesn't want to go to sleep, so you may hear her crying in the background. I have an oven that doesn't want to work, so for four hours I've been trying to get a cake baked. And I substituted at an office. I work in a dental office um, today and it's just been a long, really long crazy day especially when you're out of an office that is not your own and you're not familiar with everything it's been rainy and it's been hot and I just feel like I need to take me time to pamper, unwind so I can get ready for this big event tomorrow so I'm doing a little bit of product research today um, I'm going to try out some of our new products from our 2016 fall winter catalog uh, one product is from our old catalog I'm going to be using is the All of My Love uh, facial cleanser. It's one of our face washes. This I haven't even tried yet. I just opened it up. Um, Goodnight Kiss lip mask. And then um, Calling All Fairies face mask. And then once you use a mask, you always want to follow up with a good moisturizer. So since it's late at night, I'm going to do Call It A Night um, face oil. So it's a little bit thicker than our um, the daytime face oil. So first thing I'm going to do is I like to dampen my face, so I had nice hot water now it's pretty damp cold, but I like to dampen my face just a little bit, and I'm going to remove any residual makeup that hasn't sweated off today, um, this is all of my love, a couple dots on a cotton ball, and then I swirl around my face, and I'll take my wash rag, and I will wash the rest off. I just want to get the eye area especially. This is really great eye makeup remover. We used to have a makeup remover with Posh and then we started using our coconut oil which you can still use our coconut oil. That's another option. Uh, coconut oil, I have a video about some things you can do with coconut oil and one of them is to remove your eye makeup with it. So this has a nice, I'd say a citrus and herb smell to it. You can see all the nasty crud. Um, make it coming off here. I'm going to do one this, I guess two more uh, specifically for I'm going to dip that in water. So a little bit of water let me see if I can get any mascara off. So I'm taking off my makeup because I want to get that mask that I'm going to put on it as close to my face as possible. So you can see I'm getting lots off with just our face wash. So it's one of the few things that I found that I don't have to have two face washes for, although my favorite face wash with Posh is our BFF face wash. A lot of times we'll use this um, to get rid of the eye makeup. And then go over my face with the BFF. I have not used the Colleen Fairies mask, even though I've had it for a while. I actually earned one, I believe it was last fall or winter sometime, um, through its posh. You can see all that eye makeup is just coming right off. So this is our um, All of My Love face oil. It's a mild face oil. A lot of our products don't have the sodium lauryl sulfate, so you won't have that foaming feeling. And I'll just use a rag to get the rest. Um, The rest of this olive oil, um, I love face wash off. So it doesn't really foam up, so you're not going to find it foam up. You can apply it right to your hand and put, um, I believe, like I do six to eight drops, rub all over your face, pat it with a little bit of water. It suds up just ever so slightly, and I want to make sure I get all this off. So clean face. There we go. So, next I'm going to be using the um, Calling All Fairies. I've never used this before, so I'm really excited to try it. However, I'm going to be using it in the container that, since it's an older container, I want to use it up first. It's never been used. It does not have much of a smell to it. Instead of having a container like this where you dip your fingers in, it can get contaminated. We now have this. I usually use a makeup brush to apply my Calling All Fairies and to 
today I'm going to just dip it out with a paddle. Um, these are little gelato paddles that you can get from the ice cream shops. And I chose this mask out of the new mask to try because I just got back from being at the fair all week last week. Sunburn, I tried our new blueberry mask yesterday to help soothe my skin. It felt really good. Uh, but now I feel like there's just this layer of dead dry skin that I need to get off. So I'm going to take probably more than I need to. But I'm going to rub this in. And it's a sponge sugar mask. It's a glycolic mask. So it's going to lift off all that dry dead skin. Now, with that glycolic action, it may cause redness. So that can be something normal to expect. So, um, anytime you use a mask, sometimes you'll get some redness from it. And that's a normal sign. Uh, sometimes you'll feel it heat up a little bit on your face for the first 5-10 minutes. This particular mask you're going to leave on for 5-10 to 10 minutes. So, um, And then you're going to rinse it off with warm water. So that's the calling all fairies. So while that is on, I'm going to wait the 5 minutes. And I'm going to try out this new product called Goodnight Kiss. Which comes in this cute little bottle. Um, this has peppermint oil in it. Um, shea butter, coconut oil, mango, um, jojoba, olive oil, castor oil, a little bit of beeswax, um, linseed. It has a lot of things to moisturize your lips. And the direction says just for deep hydration overnight, put a little bit on your lips. So rather than, you see this, you can put this directly on your lips. I'm not. I'm going to um, sample this out probably. So I'm going to put it on a spatula for myself. And I'm going to guesstimate how much I need. I'm hoping that's more than enough. It's probably too double what I need. If you love our lip scrubs, um, I would definitely would keep using those during the day and maybe use this at night. And then you're just going to put this on and leave it. You're going to put it on and you're going to go to bed. So I've already brushed my teeth for the night. I'm just still waiting for my cake on hour four to finish baking. It had a little grit to it. Taste it. Very slight peppermint. I probably put way too much on, so I have this nice shine going on. So, anyways, my mask is almost drying. It has a little tingle to it. It doesn't have much smell to the mask, but let me tell you what's in our mask. So this mask is going to have witch hazel, cranberry, raspberry, seed oil, and raspberry seed extract in it. And it's going to have that glycolic acid, so it's that sponge sugar. It's got a little grit stall on my lips. So we're letting that go, and then I'm going to finish off. You always want to finish with a moisturizer. Today my moisturizer is going to be calling it a night. I've used our daytime moisturizer, I've never used this one. So, this one, um, I was looking at the ingredients that were different. This one appears to have um, olive oil in it and it's a little bit thicker consistency than our daytime oil. Our daytime oil you can actually use under your moisturizer, like I put mine under my moisturizer 911, use it like a primer. This has, and it comes in this little bottle like this, and it comes out fairly fast, so you don't need that much. Um, sunflower, safflower oil, rosemary oil, coffee seed oil, um, lime oil, prim evening primrose, olive oil, linseed, ginger root, clove oil, a uh, whole bunch of oils I can't even say, and lavender oil. So, I haven't smelled this one. You just would put a few dots so you can see it coming out. It's pretty thin. Typical of our oils, we had the Love Me Do in our last catalog. Um, it was a little bit heavier. This is a lot thinner um, oil, and I'm going to rub it in my hands just to see how well it rubs in. Um, you can see a nice sheen. It's not greasy, so you can rub your hands across it. I would feel confident putting this on my arms, rubbing it in, and then putting a shirt on without getting my shirt greasy. Um, actually, it feels really nice. So, I'm really excited to put this on, have this dry, dead skin come off my face, and then try this um, call it a night. So, well, this still is not dry yet. I just got some new product in the mail, 
I've got all these chunk bars sitting here. So my newest two, if you watched any of my other review videos, you did not see these soaps because I didn't have them until today. This one is called Dive In. It's going to have kale and clay, algae, and um, it's a sea spray, fruity floral, musky amber chunk. But it also has argan oil. So kale and clay, argan oil, and algae. I kind of like this smell. It's called Dive In. I want to show you what the bar looks like. I think it would be really good for um, a gender neutral soap. Um, definitely has a nice clean smell to it, so I like that. So that just came in today. And then the other one that just came in today that I was kind of I'm waiting on for a really long time is the Vanity Pear. And this is going to be a pomegranate and sugar pear. And it's this really pretty, and I don't know if it's showing very well, really pretty minty green color. Um, it has a little flux in it. And it smells like a pear jelly bean. Like a jelly belly jelly bean. That's what it smells like. So I really like that. I got our Plum Luck Body Butter. And this is going to be your spicy clove cinnamon and warm plum. Our body butters are pretty thick. I did not fully remove the foil off these. Our new body butters come with a foil. Instead of having... Um, a plastic seal around the outside that we're leaking. We now have foil. I was just excited to open it, so I opened it already. This is a nice warm scent. I really like this Plum Luck. Um, but I especially like this other one over here. Oh, I like that too. This one just came in today, and it's our special of the week. So if you think about today, it's the 15th of August of 2016. So if you're watching this in 2017, 18, etc., this is exclusive for this week. Our Skin Delicious line is now called Skin Joy. Our butter, by, uh, butter, yeah, body butters are called the Skin Joy line. And again, this one I did not fully take the label off, but I can, or for the most part, I'll get as much as I can off. These are super duper thick. It's not really going anywhere. If you like our um, body butters because of thickness, this is especially thick. Um, it's Girl Crush, and I have extra on my hand from taking it off there, so I'll be rubbing it in. It smells amazing. It's apricot orange with a twist of cranberry. It's called Girl Crush. It's going on my arms because I don't want to waste it. It just smells that wonderful. Um, actually, I had my husband smell when it came in today, and he said it smelled, reminded him like a tropical drink or something from the bar. So, anyways, so that was the Girl Crush. So, those four things were really new today. Um, on Friday, I had received some new hand creams. I had got almost all except for these two. So this one I didn't have before. It's a cranberry and pear all fall down. And this definitely has the um, wintry pear with a little hint of cranberry. Kind of reminds me of like a cranberry pear chutney or something. So I really like the packaging on this. I think it's really pretty for fall. It'll be a fall teacher gift, um, fall baskets if you're doing gifts for someone, Thanksgiving gifts if you give gifts to hostesses. I think that would be awesome for that. And then this one is pomegranate and the musky bergamot. It's called Happy Dance. And it's got a happy packaging. I just think it's cool. The green and these little happy pomegranates on here. And if I can get it open. This one I haven't been able to quite place the fragrance of this. Um, I'm kind of running out of place to put things, but definitely has the pomegranate smell. I'm going to rub up my legs. Um, pomegranate smell. I'm not sure if I get the bergamot musky smell out of it. I definitely smell more fruity um, scents to it. So. Um, and then one other one, and this is starting to dry pretty good, so we'll wash it off here in just a minute. One other one that I got was called Sugar Mama. It's one of our body scrubs, and now I've got my hands wet so I can't open it. It smells like, I would say, warm maple syrup, or like warm maple sugar. All right. So, this one's been giving me grief, so maybe I won't get this one open. I'll try it here again in a second, but this one is the Sugar Mama, um, and I have one more floating around here. It is 
a, like a lemon lime one. This one is that brown sugar. If you tried our sugar baby before, this is like a revamped version of sugar baby. It's just got that warm brown sugary, cinnamony, I don't know, French toast kind of smell. But it's really nice, I think, for first thing in the morning on a fall crisp uh, morning. You just don't really want to get out of bed. This would be perfect to kind of give you that warm feeling. Or right before you go to bed, if you're kind of chilly, you want to get a hot shower and use a scrub to kind of help relax you. I think this would be awesome for that. So, those are just some of the new ones. And I have lots of new soaps that came in, but I've already done videos on those, so check those out or find my Facebook page because I've done a lot of live videos lately. Um, one thing you will notice, and there's like a little tab sitting here from our um, our hand cream, is that you no longer unscrew these. These don't unscrew. They have a little tab here, and you pop that tab off, and then this opens. There's no foil to mess around with, and this cap does not unscrew. I'm going to wash this off my face, and it may be a little bit red, and that's okay, because we kind of anticipate that. Plus, you're taking off all that dead skin, that top layer of dead skin. So, as with any of our um, glycolic peels, which my favorite one up until this point had been in a New York Minute, because it's a five-minute um, glycolic face mask, and it didn't have a lot of scent to it, which I like products on my face that don't have a lot of scent to them. Um, I like the smell of hand creams and body butters, but for my face products, I don't like to have a lot of scent with them. So, um, wiping all this off. It dries fairly clear for this calling off berries. I can't really say that it has a ton of smell, which I appreciate that. And, okay, don't mind my crazy hair. It's, like, too hot outside and been running around all day, so. Anyways, if you are interested in learning more about Perfectly Posh, or trying a sample, or even maybe joining our team. Our team is Team um, Polka Dot Posh. We'd love to have you. Um, our upline is Nicole uh, Shrew Pearsall. So we have our Team Posh Blessings is our upline premiere. And we'd love to have you on our team. I'd love to share with you the monthly kit. Every month it changes. So just letting my face dry for a second. Um, one other thing is we used to have these boxes that were called Posh to Meet You. We still have Posh to Meet You sets, but now they no longer come in a box. So, these boxes used to be, every season, would come with a hand cream and a lip balm and a soap, which is a great way to try Posh if you've never tried Posh. Um, but for $20, you can pick out any of the hand creams, any lip balm, and any chunks before you are set on whatever it was for that season. So, this past season, this was our Good Vibes, and we still have a little bit of these left, and I can get you some of these if you're interested. The Good Vibes, definitely a chocolate cold drink, Mai Tai scent. Um, it's a mango coconut, and then a Strawberry Fields Forever Chunk Bar. I think it smells like strawberry milk. My husband thinks it smells like strawberry ice cream, so there you have it. And then um, uh, a Santa Monica Smooth Lip Balm, so that was a caffeinated lip balm. That's what our kits used to come in. Now, so that we can pack them quicker, they're not going to come in a box anymore. You're going to be able to go right online or contact me or one of your Posh consultants and say, I want this, this, and this, and they'll be able to order it as a package set for you. It's a little bit discounted and it's a great introduction to trying Posh. So, um, stand over here. Alright, so I'm going to put on my Love Me Do oil. And then, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My website is getmeposh.com, or you can find me at perfectlyposh.com backslash uh, Melissa Snyder. And I'd love to help you learn more about Posh. We are made in the USA. Our chunks are made in Vermont. Everything else is made in California. We are paraben-free and free so your moral self ain't free but we're full of all kinds of awesome things so although we're free of um, fillers uh, soy and gluten fillers we have awesome ingredients like coconut oil honey beeswax the only animal products that we use are milk beeswax and honey which are all animal byproducts and we use sustainable palm we are very um, animal friendly so we use cruelty, we're cruelty free lots of great things with Posh. So we'd love to share more uh, about Posh with you. We'd love to send you a catalog, sample, uh, anything that you would like to know about Posh, please ask.
That's how we learn. And if I don't know the answer, I will keep digging until I find the answer. Our founders, Andrew and Anne, are very generous with knowledge just to keep us in the loop. And if we have questions, we go to our offline premieres and our premieres, if they can't figure it out, they go to Anne and Andrew and we are able to get answers. The company is awesome. If I have any problems with an order, they are always making it right and they make it 10 times better than I can expect it to go. So, it's Posh to meet you. I'm Melissa Snyder with Team Polka Dot and Posh and this was our um, Calling All Fairies. So now my skin feels extra smooth and I have this face wash. I have the face wash that we did, the mask, and then I have the face oil and I'm going to go to bed. And when I wake up, I'll wash off my face with my BFF to um, kind of wake me up with some peppermint oil in the morning. And then I will use my Moisture 911 and wash off my lip scrubs, or my lip mask. And probably use a lip scrub because I love our lip scrubs, especially our Cuban Cool, which is still in stock. So I will talk to you all later. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Pass to meet you.